So you can gain influence as a leader in two ways, right? So number one, it would be you have something or have done something that someone else wants to do. So if you're an incredible salesperson, you're number one, people will just listen to you because they know that you have the credibility to back mm -hmm. up what you're saying. That's, that's yep. influence, right? The other way, if you have your person's best interest at heart, you gain mm -hmm. influence with them. Like my mom may not have done the sales that I would be like, wow, I really need to learn from my mom how to sell. She's a nurse. She's great. But I do know she has my best interest at heart. And so when she talks to me, there's a certain mm -hmm. amount of influence. And so the idea is good leaders, if you want to recruit a really good team, you have to be able to do both. You have to do what you say you're going to do. You have to lead by example. You have to have proof that what your opportunity is doing will do for them has done for you or have incredible integrity, right? And then you have to always care about them before you care about just the job.